Welcome to this presentation on the Royal Statistical Society's Statistical Literacy Campaign. Statistics are of great value to society. They're used in areas as different as developing new drugs, monitoring the economy, and measuring crime. But what do people on the streets think? The society has been out and about to find out. Um, bored, I guess? Dehumanising. Uh, nervous. Confused. Yeah, confused. Um, reminds me of being back at uni and doing lots of study and numbers and more classes. It doesn't take circumstances into account. Lots of numbers, generally, often not clearly spelling out what they're supposed to be saying. Well, because it just sort of, you just think of figures and numbers and, you know, and then... It ought to make us feel more settled in that we ought to know where we are and what the, what the things mean. I don't know that it does, actually, because I'm not sure how many people really understand it. Statistics can say almost anything you want them to say, basically. So they can be very seriously misused, but they're still very useful. To crunch um, numbers and come up with the data. I've got a foggiest. To make up statistics on certain things. Crunching numbers. Um, generally, um, no. Not really. I can't say I take an awful lot of notice of them, no. No, not all the time. I'm a bit sceptical. Depends which newspaper. I think they can be used by whoever to say whatever they want. People can use the same statistics, two different people with two different viewpoints, and they'll say something to suit both parties. Primarily because it's in the newspaper, whereas if it was in something like a scientific journal, then I'd probably be more inclined to believe it. I think they're, they're very one-sided, from one side of view, so I always like to hear the other side of the story before I make any kind of judgement. Yeah, definitely. Yes, I would. Well, yes, I do. Yes. I'm not sure what I'd proactively do about it. It just give you a more kind of rounded view of whatever you were investigating at the time, really. Yes, I'm interested in mathematical data and stuff like that. I would find it interesting, yeah. It would make, help me make sense of things. My generation, we were totally ignorant and we believed everything. And I think um, this younger generation, they'll question more, much more. Few will be surprised by the response. People said they found statistics boring or confusing. Generally, they think statisticians are something to do with numbers, but seem to know little about the positive role data and statistics play in the world around us. However, in our interviews, we did find a real interest among people in knowing more. Now is certainly the time for such a campaign. Society is more inquisitive and inquiring. We just don't take things for granted as much as we used to. This is being matched by a growing interest in increasing public understanding of statistics in the media, in newspapers, on TV and online. The rise of the World Wide Web means that an enormous amount of data about society is now available to anyone with an internet connection. And the importance of statistics in modern society is to be recognised for the first time ever at a global level through the United Nations sponsored World Statistics Day on the 20th of October this year. The Royal Statistical Society campaign is rooted in a vision of a society in which our lives and choices are enriched by an understanding of statistics. It is bold and focused, and we hope one that will be readily understood. Our strategy has three strands. We will continue to do those things that we already do well. I work with schools, colleges and universities, with journalists and public relations professionals. With significance, our non-technical magazine, written for the public at large. From these, we will develop new projects that can secure resources when the opportunity arises. Projects such as putting significance into the classroom, putting it at the very heart of the teaching of statistics. And because statistics underpin so much of modern life, we want to work with as many other organisations as possible aligning our ambitions and our activities with theirs to mutual benefit. And we are working with the Royal Statistical Society community, our members and the user groups who work with us, to champion the campaign and deliver many of its activities throughout the country. 
we will work with elected representatives who use statistics daily to make important decisions on behalf of us all. We will continue to work with the media, which for most people are the main way they hear of statistics. We will work with schools and universities so that statistics is taught well, and then with business and industry so that statistics is used well in the workplace. Everyone is at some point on a spectrum of statistical ability. Some start with just a basic awareness. Others already have some understanding or even well-developed skills. Our campaign aims to move everyone up this spectrum. And as we deliver our campaign, we will, at key milestones, review our effectiveness. Of course, different audiences need different approaches. So we have analysed our activities to measure the impact that they have. For example, our work with journalists is obviously important to the media, but less so with business, for whom our work in education will have particular interest. Above all else, we want our campaign to be one that can reach all audiences. We want a dialogue that shapes our campaign and makes it as effective as possible. We need a means that is easy to find, provides a dynamic image of statistics, and is widely available. So to meet this, we will take full advantage of the internet. Our GetStats website will be a portal so that you can find the resources most relevant to you when you log in. GetStats will make maximum use of the internet to provide a forum so that there is real dialogue and debate. It will also be a library with materials that all can use to help their understanding of statistics and those of others, whether teachers, journalists, business people or members of the public. And GetStats will be a signpost, pointing the way to websites that publish the data people need and provide the tools to help people interpret the figures. So we're calling on everyone with an interest in improving the understanding and use of statistics to get involved with our campaign. We want you to put the 20th of October 2010, World Statistics Day and the official launch of our campaign, in their diaries. We would like you to sign up on the GetStats website so that we can keep you up to date on the campaign and its progress and make sure we get your views. And we want people to put a link to GetStats on their own websites and on their own social media pages. We need ideas for activities to help launch the campaign and volunteers to help deliver them. And above all, we ask that you tell others about our campaign. It is an exciting campaign. It has the potential to make great strides in improving public understanding and use of statistics. It can help achieve a cultural change so that statistical reasoning is widely viewed as a life skill, a kind of fourth R alongside reading, writing and arithmetic. And from this we will, in the words of our vision, have laid the foundation of a society in which all our lives and choices are enriched by an understanding of statistics.